Hi, my name is John from Drive's Technical Service Department. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to test a throttle potentiometer. It's also known as a throttle pot, just to shorten the name a little bit. A throttle pot is a variable resistor. As you can see by the schematic right here, we have an outside terminal, another outside terminal, and a center terminal, also called the wiper. You have it here on the actual potentiometer itself, your outside, your outside, and your wiper. So what we want to do is measure the balance of the potentiometer to make sure that the outside to the middle and the other outside to the middle is within 10% resistance of each other. And that'll tell us that the pot is balanced and the circuit will work correctly. So here we're going to put on our test meter. We turn it on and we're going to set it to the 20K scale, 20,000 ohm scale. And what we always do before we test anything with the ohm meter, we touch them together and make sure that they go to zero. That tells us that your meter is working, everything is hooked up correctly, and now we'll measure. So the first thing we're going to do is measure the outside resistance to the other outside resistance. And we have 5.13K. That's 5,130 ohms. Next thing we're going to do is measure the outside to the middle. And we have 2.66K. Now we measure the other outside to the middle. And we have 2.75K. So that's within spec of 10%. Next, we'll check the swing of the potentiometer to make sure that we don't have any dead spots or shorts. What I've done is just attached this throttle pot to the base with a little Velcro for demonstration purposes. What we do here to test the swing of the pot to look for dead spots is you take one lead and put it to an outside terminal on the connector and the other lead to the center of the connector. And then I'll just hold this while I swing this throttle pot through its range. And as we do this, we're going to watch the gauge, the meter, and see if we have a very smooth transaction. As you see, it's climbing nice and slowly. There's no dropouts, and we don't have any shorts. If it was a short, it would immediately drop to zero. And we're almost at full range. There we are. And then we slowly go back. And we should end up with what we started. Yeah, there we are. Now we swing the other way. And it should go to zero very slowly. It'll decrease very slowly with no dead spots. And as we get through our full range, it goes to zero. And we go back to where we started. What I want to show you now, because we've just seen what a good pot looks like. And over here, I have a pot that is bad. And I'll show you what you might find if you're trying to measure and find a bad one. Now, the first thing we measure is outside to outside. First, we touch the leads together to make sure that the gauge is working. Just make that a practice, because sometimes you can waste a lot of time if something is on the wrong scale. All right, here we have 5.2K outside to outside. So now the way we test it, remember, is to go from the outside to the middle. And we should get around half of that if it's a good pot. And we have 4.8K, which is way off balance. And so what we'll do there is we'll check the other outside to the middle and see what we get. 
outside to middle, and we only get 0.63. So one side we get 4.8, the other is 0.63. So we find that this pot is grossly off-center and unusable. What would happen here is that the controller would recognize this as being a, a throttle that's already depressed when you turn the key on and the controller would fault and inhibit the scooter from driving. So again, just to recap, you want to measure outside to outside, outside to middle, the other outside to the middle, and they should be within 10% of each other, and then we know that we have a good throttle pot.